see it, maybe 360. Ooh. I got you. Damn, we almost hit that guy. I'm so sorry, sir. Four cars and they all black, got four bras and they all that we call that Ballin', doing this is my calling, flow is so appalling My phone off and she calling, I'm like yeah, what it do, penthouse man What is going on everybody, Sports Lab Train And welcome back today guys, Forza Horizon 3 Back with the Logitech G Car Pack, man. Now today, I promised you guys the Morgan three-wheeler. This thing looks pretty damn ridiculous. 82 horsepower on the stock motor. I don't even know what the motor is, man. It's a two liter almost, and it's pushing 82 horsepower. Now the thing that kills me though, it was made in 2014. What the, like, oh my God, man. If you guys give me some background information on this three-wheeler, I would be appreciative on that man but it is a pretty crazy looking machine and i think i'm gonna go with that spitfire style paint on there it actually looks really nice um i'm thinking the green no we're gonna go with the black on there what do you think ah no we're going dark green man dark green thank you very much ga chapin 3252 what the what now, i'm no expert but that definitely looks like a goddamn motorcycle engine on the front of this thing like what the hell kind of cre like who decided to make this shit is what i want to know i mean you get up in the morning and say hey i'm making a three-wheeler and we're strapping a motorbike engine to the front of this thing the interior does look nice though i, I will definitely admit that looks clean um we have a little bit of trunk space you can throw a backpack in there maybe but other than that though um this thing looks pretty damn ridiculous exhaust is uh pretty straight i mean <laughs> holy shit man look at that now, I just did a quick little Google search just to see what the hell this thing was, and it's actually an s and s X wedge, two-valve, fuel-injected dry sump engine, producing 100 foot-pounds of torque, and as I said, about 82 horsepower on you. So it's pretty damn interesting to see this thing, and it actually does utilize a five-speed manual transmission from an MX-5 sports car, and uh, that's pretty damn crazy, man. So that kind of, you know, it kind of gives me a little bit more uh, I would say excitement for this build for today, but the reason that we are here driving this thing is to go and receive some of the new barn finds. And we had a legendary barn find get popped up on my screen, I think yesterday. I haven't seen anything much about it, so I don't know which one it is. It could be one of the three. Considering I don't know what barn find is going to be the new car, uh, we're gonna have to just keep going until we find it. My guesses though are that it's in this area right here. This is the new spot. I don't remember seeing a barn find in here, so we're gonna go check this spot first. And then if not, we're on the hunt for our new barn find. But I figured though we get a little drive on this Morgan three-wheeler as we do it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to keep seeing Forza Horizon 3 on the channel, don't forget to slap that like button. Here we go, man. We have the Morgan three-wheeler ready to throw down. We have 3.8 miles to our first barn find. Now that sounds like quite a bit considering we only have 82 horsepower out here. So we're gonna give this a shot and get our first burnout here. Now, I just wanna quickly see how much this thing does weigh. I actually kind of forgot to check that out. And I think, oh my God, 1,200 pounds. 1,200 pounds. I was actually thinking it was gonna weigh a little bit less to be completely honest with you. Uh, but we're at D-Class 325 on here. Let's drop the hammer and let's see what I, oh shit. It peeled, man. It peeled in second gear. I'm impressed. Okay. And this is our second three-wheeler in the Forza Horizon 3. So that's pretty cool seeing that. And it sounds exactly like a goddamn bike, man. This is crazy to even have this thing in the game. At first, I was a little bit hesitant. You know, I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. But, you know, obviously, I would say the trend that, you know, Forza's taking with Forza Horizon is, you know, to adding in more cars that we wouldn't really normally see in the motorsport series and I think that's why they keep doing this is because it gives them a chance to really go outside of you know what they would normally do in Forza Motorsport. I really do enjoy you know a different style car I mean I've always said it kind of takes away from other cars that could be in the game at the same time let me know your thoughts down below do you like the Morgan three-wheeler in the game but uh, we're gonna definitely try to get this thing sideways before the end of the today's episode red lines at around 6.2 grand, man. Okay. Let's see what it's got a handbrake. Oh, jeez. It's not bad, man. It's not bad. I was not expecting it to even hold right there, but it did. Let's try it again. Oh, shit. It's a little twitchy. Let's see, maybe 360. Whew. I got you. 
Damn, we almost hit that guy. I'm so sorry, sir. We held it, though. I'm really interested to see the motor swaps available on this thing. I know they just added in the BMW Izetta a while back. That thing was fun. It wasn't a three-wheeler, though, mind you. It was a four-wheeler. It just had a very small rear wheelbase. But, um, you know, there are other vehicles in here that, you know, are very tiny, which would be really cool for some crazy motor swaps. And I'm really hoping that this is going to be another one of those cars. Now, obviously, on the flip side, if we do a motor swap to something like this, the motor's right in front of it. So it is a little bit of, you know, you just have to kind of ignore that. And, you know, to me personally, I would rather see it in the game where we can do it than, you know, where we can't do it. But that's just me. Let me know your thoughts down below. We have a corner coming up on our right. Am I going to rip the handbrake? You damn right I am, man. I just got to find a corner, though. Hold up. Where, lady? Where? Oh, my God. It should say that it's going to be a dirt road. Come on, man. Oh, speaking of, appreciate it. I'm staring you down, sir. Get a little burn on my Morgan 3 wheel as I do it, man. There we go. Yeah, pump those brakes a little bit. Just pumping them. Just pumping them. Look at my guy's face, man. The guy is good to be alive right now. Look at him. He's so happy. Just chilling in his damn 3. Oh, whoa, whoa. Back up, Lee. All right, here we go. This thing actually slides, man. This is pretty dope. Okay. A little bit of dirt to break the traction. I think this is where this thing is meant for... Oh, shit. Okay, sorry. Went right off, and then now I'm in this guy's poppy field, or whatever the hell this thing is. What is this? There we go. Ooh. Okay, okay. Is that another three-wheeler? I could have swore that was another three... Oh, my Jesus. Guy almost killed me. Oh, my God. Now, uh, we need to find this barn find. Now, it does make sense, though, that they are adding in new barn finds, because if you guys remember... We have came across a couple of them already where, you know, we said, hey, there should be a barn find here, and there just never was anything. Now, um, I'd like to find out the other locations on the map, because then that would kind of give us a good estimate as to how many barn finds will be in the game at you the end of it. But, um, you know, who knows that, you know, we are getting another barn find for the Blizzard Mountain expansion, which will then, you know, how many can we do from there, right? So, I mean, there is definitely a lot of possibilities with that blizzard mountain i just really hope that it's going to be a big enough spot where we're not going to get bored of it after you know a day or two and that's that's really what i'm hoping but it is definitely going to be i feel at least another expansion where we have to leave this map to get to that map and you know i'm not a big fan of that i just wish they could just expand onto it because then you know seamless fun right you don't have to kind of transition in and out but um we have to wait and see man now another thing we have to wait and see where this damn barn find is, is I can't find this shit, man. This place is big. Got Batman there. What's good? You see a barn find there, Batman? You let me know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You see that light right there, right? Hold on. Right there. I got you, son of a bitch, man. I'm coming. I'm going right through these trees as I can. Let's go. No rocks. Okay, yeah. Well, what the hell is this, man? What is this? It's a big tree? Oh, it's a big rock. I'm pissed. There goes nothing, man. We're taking the plunge right now. Whew. Okay, yeah. We're definitely, uh... We definitely just submerged this shit. It's pretty close. Oh, we got it, man. We got the barn fine. Here we go. Please be the new one. Look at that three-wheeler, though. Just looking damn clean, man. Things starting to grow on me. I'm gonna be honest. I'd like to see a T-Rex maybe come in next, right, T-Rex? Aha! Snooze, you lose, whoever you are. Ooh! Time to open her up. Is that... Is that the sunbeam? Oh, oh nice, nice. Holy shit! It's a sunbeam tiger. This thing has a Ford V8 under the hood, specced by Carol Shelby himself. Bit dusty, rust on the trim, but otherwise it looks pretty good to me. I'm not gonna lie, I am excited to drive the sunbeam, the man. That's the new one right there. This thing needs to be driven. It definitely does, sir. I am on board for that shit. I'm gonna go grab this little board over there. I'm on board to get the board, right? I mean, oh my god. The sunbeam, though, man. God damn, that's pretty sure that's been in a Forza previously, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not, please correct me in the comment section down below. But um, we're gonna drive that when that does become available. However, though, in the meantime, I wanna see what we can do 
to this three-wheeler first. Now, we are closest to... You know what? Let's go back to Byron Bay, man. I haven't been to Byron Bay in a hot minute, man. Let's go. All right, we are heading straight over to the motor swabs. Please be a good one, man. Here we go. Here we go. 196. Okay, inline four motorbike engine. Um, we're definitely throwing that on there. That's interesting. And we can also turbo it 234 horsepower. Now, the plan, we're just going to go max build on this here. Look at the little thin front lift. Oh, my God. I'm dead. That looks hilarious. Um, that's definitely not going on there. We don't need that. What about the spoiler? Just a uh, little flap on the back. Definitely not doing that either. Not a fan. Tires, though. I think tires. Today, we're going to go with the street tires on this. The reason being, uh, actually, no, that's that's a stupid idea. We're going back to stocks, man. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. Um, another thing now is recently, the other night, I was online, and um, we were with Nakamura, and he had some huge-ass tires on this thing. I don't know what happened, but the game just kind of glitches out when you get the big, beefy tires on here. So we're going to try to break the game for today's episode. Mind you, I love the stock wheels on this Morgan. I really do. I'm a big fan of those spoke-style rims, but this is the rim right there that breaks it. You see that shit? What is that, man? Oh my god. The rim is broken right there. Um, we can go with a massive just gold dinner plate, and I think I'm doing it, man. Dinner plate all day right now. To 20s. We have 20s on this Morgan. Oh my god. If you guys don't know, I love gold, man. We can go 17s on the rear. Uh, that's interesting, man. That is really interesting. We have no tire width, though, unfortunately. Um, but that is pretty damn crazy. I, I may not even keep that, but it's just something for right now that I think is pretty cool. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. I'm going to go upgraded brakes. We're going to uh, slam this thing. Look at that shit. Ooh. Look at the drop. In terms of the weight reduction, uh, 84 for the race weight, man. God damn, that's not a lot, thankfully, though, because I didn't really want to go too much. And we can only do a turbo and intercooler. I am so disappointed on that. God damn, man. 292 horsepower on the final build of this Morgan three-wheeler, man. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, here we go. Damn! Oh, shit! This thing is just all over the road now. Okay. So, we definitely have a lot of horsepower now. But you can see right there, second gear, I put my foot down, and uh, the thing is gone. We just seen another Morgan, man. I wish we could, like, wave to them or some shit, you know? Like, what's good, man? From one, from one Morgan to another. Now, you know what would be a challenge and a half? Would be doing a day of drift zone section... With these Morgans, man. God Turn damn. That would be pretty cool. So. I'm actually going to go hit up uh, the drift section right here, actually. Now, just imagine an online lobby. Nothing but pure Morgans in there. Just ripping it, man. That would be pretty crazy. Look at this. Once it goes, man, it just goes. I like it. We're going to turn in. We're going to see this thing just start picking up speed. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Here we go. Oh, a little bit understeer. Remember, this thing is still stock tuned. Haven't done much to it. We're going to run one stock and then come back to a uh, tuned version. Jesus! Okay, well, maybe we should just tune it now then. Go ahead and extend it even more. Oh, okay, well, we can't do anything in terms of camber. I know this thing right now. Slap, how the hell are you going to do rear camber on the damn thing? I'm just saying, man. I wish that we could have done it is all I'm saying, all right? Um, front roll bars, we're going to go ahead and definitely stiffen these up a little bit. You've seen a lot of understeer coming from it, so hopefully we can just kind of fix that up a little bit. Brake pressure, of course, we're bringing it down to about 50, and differential, we can't do anything, of course. So, with that being said, let's see how this thing drives. Here we go. God, man. This thing is crazy. It really is. Excuse me. I feel like I'm in a damn go-kart. There we go. No. Like, this is a crazy damn build, man. I mean, this, you really have to be easy on the throttle and just take care of it. And it seems like it'll take care of you. And it doesn't... Ooh! Now, it doesn't really seem like it likes to oversteer a lot. It's just a matter of trying to save the actual drift itself from going too far. But it's not like it's just going to oversteer. Okay, yeah. As I say, it. okay, yeah. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Look at this thing, man. Well, fourth gear. 
God damn! Like I said, once you get it going, it's somewhat controllable, but you just kind of have to really be easy with it. You gotta remember, you only have one damn tire back there. So it is a little bit freaky. Here we go, here we go. Now, if you can just let me know that my damn sunbeam is ready, I'd be appreciative. Guy's taking quite a long time with it. I'm gonna have to find a new damn mechanic. Come on! Look at this thing go, man! The slides are real! Obviously, it's nothing like, uh, you know, Formula Drift or anything, but shit! Oh! Oh, the roundabout girl. I'm sorry, but we need to do at least one loop. I want to see how this thing's actually going to do in the roundabout situation. Here we go. Here we go. Skill point earned. Well, thank you so much. I already have a shit ton. Okay. Move it back up to stiff, and I'm just going to stiffen that entire front end, man. 65 on that front roll bar, and hopefully that will allow it just to hold. You guys can kind of see it. It likes to hook now back up, and that's exactly what I wanted. Don't touch me, man. Thank you. That's what I'm looking for on this three-wheeler. Come on, baby. Look at my guy. He's not even really looking on the road, man. He's looking off in the distance. Like, where are you looking to, man? All right there, sir. If you can give me my damn sunbeam back, I'd be appreciative. This guy, I think he went for his own little joyride, to be honest with you, before he gave it back to me. Some bitch. Come on. Ooh. Oh, damn. Just a constant battle on this throttle, man. Like, no joke. Oh, my goodness. Now, what I want to do, though, is actually see how this thing is going to look in cock... Oh, shit. I like this. You can hear the turbo, actually, a shit ton more, too. Are you serious? Did I ask you to do that, girl? I'm out here just cruising in my... Oh, my God. This girl... Okay, yeah. You know what? Thank you so much for setting that up. I, re I really appreciate that. Here we go. Little first person skins? This thing is crazy, man. Big fan of it. Definitely improved the three wheeler. It was a car coming in that I wasn't really too excited for, but after driving it for a little bit, um, the fun is there, man. It's definitely not something that I'm going to be pulling out every single day online, but you know, for a nice little cruise, you know, it's decent, man. It's decent. I like it. We got to do a top speed run. In 200 yards. With the front end just wobbling, man. God damn. Fourth gear just peeling as my foot goes down full throttle. Now, if we don't get a message saying that our damn sunbeam is ready, I'm going to go back to the shop myself and see what is going down. Because it may have already been there. Oh! Fifth gear. 130. Another three-wheeler, man. They're all over the place. All right, here we go. Here we go. So I put it into six gear and just let the damn numbers climb, hopefully. Uh, yeah, that's a negative, sir. Or lady, whatever. It's not happening. Nope, not doing it. Recalculating route in 200 yards. Alright, 160. Shut up, Hannah! 160. Almost. 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 I think I jinxed it. I'm not hitting 160, am I? God damn it. I'm gonna pull it back to fifth. If I need to, I don't know if I'm gonna be needing it. That was a cool shot right there. Right here, man. This is a nice little spot. 162. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Just a top speed run right now. 165. Let's drop it down to fifth. See what happens. Ooh. We got the need for speed right now, man. But it's wobbly. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to go for a 360 then. Screw it. Or a double. Or a triple, or okay, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. All right, let's go to the barn finds and see if our sunbeam is here. Oh my God, the Dodger, Dodger. Why did I just say Dodger, man? Oh my God, it's been a little bit since I played fours, man. I'm sorry. The Dodge Charger Daytona Hemi. We still have not picked that up yet. The Ferrari 166 we haven't grabbed. There is so many cars in the barn finds that we have yet to pick up, man. Now, I would love to do another episode where we do drive some of these barn finds. Let me know which one you want to see done down below. But holy shit, there is quite a few. The Sunbeam is still not ready. Detailing and finishing touches. Oh my god. John, we're going to end this episode off right here if that's the case, man. The guy can't take that long to restore a car. It should be done in two seconds. I'm just kidding, man. I know it takes time, but... uh 
I, I just can't wait him out, man. I can't do it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for coming around for today's episode of Forza Horizon 3 and the Logitech G car pack with the Morgan three-wheeler. Had a blast. Let me know your thoughts down below about it. Hit the slap dot like button. Make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box down below. To put a slap train, Forza Horizon 3, I'm out. Peace. Four cars and they all black, got four bras and they all that we call that. Ballin', doing this is my calling. Flow is so up.